What's up, y'all? Dax here. Hey, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about uh, a couple things that I've been seeing um, capture pe people's imaginations on Facebook and stuff. Uh, the idea of, of taking a GoPro, removing the battery, and powering it off of your 6S or 4S or whatever LiPo to, uh, to save some weight. Most people have been sharing this iFlight power cable. It's effective, it works. Um, it's got a Beck already soldered to it. I'll put a little piece of uh, heat shrink on there to try and have something additional to grab onto because it's not the easiest thing to uh, remove. Um, everybody seems to be a, be uh, taken with this. This is the most popular. Um, it does work. Uh, one of the nice benefits is when you plug in your battery, you can go ahead and plug uh, power on your GoPro before you have to power on your quad. That, that could be a little convenient there. Um, negatives. One, it sticks out pretty far from the camera, so it's easier to snag on things. It's dangly, it gets in the way. I had mine strapped to the uh, zip tie to my battery strap for a while. It still is dangly, still constantly getting caught up in the uh, battery straps. And then, I mean, crap. I mean, just removing it from here is a pain in the butt over and over again. It's such a pain in the butt. And I'm constantly worried that I'm gonna pull my battery leads out of my plug out of either one of these actually because it's just again it's just another one of those where you, 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 it's hard to get any purchase on it to, to pull it off I find it quite annoying myself but everybody seems to really really like this this is what everybody is is uh, gravitating to I'm not 100% sold on it I, I picked up both styles uh, to take a look at uh, but immediately was 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 drawn to the TBS version. TBS version is your traditional USB-C plug-in. It's on this steel wire that then runs into a 5 volt Beck and I run straight to my battery pad. So as soon as, as, soon as I power on the, bat, on the quad the uh, I can power on the GoPro, not before. That's that's the difference between the two. The iFlight, I can plug it in, do whatever I need to do before I before I power on the quad. On here, I've got to plug in the LiPo before I can power on the GoPro and do whatever I need to do. Doesn't really bother me too much, but some may prefer um, that the capability of of uh, changing settings, what have you, beforehand. Um, I don't. I think most people set their settings and they leave it on the, the setting that they're going to t traditionally fly in. But uh, um, some of you out there may may want to. The other thing I like about this TBS version is I can hide it. It's out of the way right there when the GoPro is plugged in this is tucked up in this little cutout that I put on my GoPro mount and it hides right in there and I don't have to unplug it to remove the GoPro just slide the GoPro out it comes out uh, very easily no having to mess with her like that it literally just pops right off and it's easy to tuck out tuck out of the way whenever uh, whenever I don't have the GoPro in there. Let's see if I can't. Actually, I don't need to do this. Hold on just a second. So here is the five volt back that the TBS soldiers onto. Let's see if you can see that. Tiny little back, 
positive and negative on both ends. It comes with the four wires you need. Simply sol solder two here, straight to the battery pad. The other two, straight to the pads on the TBS cable, and you're done. You can hide it within the frame, run it up wherever you need to. Overall length is about about eight inches so far to run. I can run it wherever you want to. You can cut these wires in half if you don't want to do that. It just gives you some capabilities to to um, better hide, better uh, protect. Um, easier to use in my opinion. Um, but there's the two two versions. Um, like I said, this one's the most popular. Doesn't seem like many people know that this one is out there from TBS. Same same price, I think. Um, they're cheap, so I really didn't pay attention to how much they were because they're super cheap. But I just wanted to take a second to show you that there's another option out there. One that I personally think is, is better, but you may not. But for other noobs out there like me, I wanted to take a second to show them that there is a secondary option. This uh, door, a lot of people are worried about um, leaving the door open, there being a crash, GoPro ejecting, all that good stuff. I can tell you as a noob, I crash, I crash, I go flying every, every single day. I'm gonna crash at least once. I've never had the SD, SD card eject um, I have had dust get in here, obviously, because it just sits in there like that. So I took an STL file of the GoPro 8 charging door and I remixed it a little bit so that I can keep the dust out, help protect that SD card if it should decide to ever pop out one day because I'm an idiot and I crash it or crash this thing destroy it but I've had many many crashes with this so far I haven't even had a, a door to eject off yet then it's a simple push in there with your pinky and it's in there it's tucked away out of the way and then when I want to remove it I don't even mess with this cable. Go. See if we push the GoPro, cable pops out automatically. Boom. Well, that's it. I just wanted to show you there's two different options. You've got this guy from iFlight, you've got this guy from TBS with an iFlight I Beck um, or you can use any 5-volt five, five Beck but um, just wanted to share that with you maybe that'll help help some of y'all maybe some noobs out there thinking about it by themselves you know, ah, now you can choose whichever one you want reason I did it was the batteries and the doors around 30, 30 grams these quads that I built my tanks to help me help me get some stick time in without destroying um, catalyst machine works bang god with oh I forgot a point with 1550 6s I'm looking 900 grams so shaving off 30 grams is well worth it for me um, one other point I wanted to make about iFlight is with traditional batteries we're You've got your six uh, cables, your bounce cables with your lead all on the same side. This works really well. All right, so it's zip, uh, lap, uh, strapped in there. Like I said, I usually keep this zip tied on here. And I can plug this in, and plug this in, and then it's just a bear to unplug. It doesn't work so well with batteries where you have the bounce plugs on the opposite side. All right, it's real short. I can't even get to it that way. Flip it over this way, zip tie, uh, 
uh, battery strap down. There's hardly any wiggle room, depending on your quad. There's hardly any wiggle room left for me to plug it in. That's all I, that's all the play I get. That's all the play I have. Makes it really, makes it, make it hard to plug in, made it extremely hard to unplug. Um, so depending on the battery style you have, this could be even more of a pain or it could be a dream to you, whatever you, whatever you think, but it's not going to be great for all batteries. Um, I think that's it. I can't think of any other other points I wanted to make about the two uh, just wanted to share some information so you can make your own decision um, my personal opinion I keep these in the backpack in case something should happen but I run I run this I run this on my quads it's always there it's always ready to go it's always out of the way you can this is like I said this is steel so you can bend this to whatever shape you want train it and keep it out of the way I just like it it's real easy but that's just my thoughts that's just some noob thoughts hopefully some other noobs out there will find them uh, helpful um, if you found any of this information helpful please give me a like uh, really appreciate it subscribe leave me a comment um, all right I guess that's it out